one of our battalion chiefs said, hey, you guys want to go to the Diamondbacks, the World Series? And of course. And then he told us kind of what we had to do. When we were asked, I, would, I won't ever forget it, we had the opportunity to go out on the field and, and I think not only represent Phoenix Fire, but represent New York Fire too, FDNY. We worked together for many years, Tom and I. Yeah. Um, and back then we were both, I was, uh, we were both firefighters. He was an engineer at the time. I was a firefighter and we were working over in, on the west side in Maryville uh, on 9-11. We were actually on shift that day, that morning we came on. And then for them to ask us to do this was, was a privilege and an honor, honestly. And just the events of that time frame really uh, galvanized the country. And for us to be able to represent and do a little part as Phoenix Fire, you know, commemorating the sacrifices and what those guys and gals all went through in New York uh, during that time frame was, was an honor, number one. It was exciting because we were involved. And we felt like it was a privilege for them to ask us to, to do that. It was a pretty special moment for us. It, it was truly something that we'll never forget. Everybody's excited about the Diamondbacks going to the World Series. You know, it, it's, yes, it's been 22 years, it, th but that's, that's just the way that it is. It, it, it's bringing people together, I think. We're just, a little bit older and grayer, though. That's, that's not fun. Well, I don't know about you. <laughs> so it's great.